I'm Adrienne. I'm at the Transition 2011 conference. I'm here with Duncan Crowley from Barcelona. And Duncan's been telling me about what's been happening in the squares in Barcelona. So tell me, Duncan, um, t what, what's been happening? It sounds amazing. Yeah, it, it has been amazing and still is amazing. Um, I'm, I'm here from Barcelona, so I can just talk about what I've been up to, I suppose, with other people. Um, basically, on the 15th of May, there was... a uh, a big action. Uh, people went to different squares around around the cities, and, uh, and basically that launched into people occupying squares around Spain. Um, so it became known as the 15 a.m. Mov movement. Uh, was questioning democracy and what exists in Spain because it's a bit of a strange situation. But anyway, what it turned into pretty quickly was just massive occupations of squares all over Spain, and not on, not only Spain actually, but in the first week. There was 650 actions of support or other people being inspired to do similar things in their own local areas. And that was around the planet, all continents of the world. So something really amazing. I suppose we're inspired by what's been going on in North Africa uh, and also Iceland, you know, how people have actually stood up for themselves. So basically people have been requesting democracy. Um, maybe saying, some people are talking about democracy 2.0, especially with all these tech tools that we have. You know, we, can, we can definitely communicate on a far more efficient level. Uh, and maybe actually improve how people are participating in decision making about what sort of world that they want to live in. Because in Spain, with the economic crisis as bad as it is, the youth, half the youth, have, are unemployed and no hope of, of employment. It's terrible. Um, and people are saying that the politicians and the system is not really getting us out of the mess. In fact, it's getting worse. So it's time for us in our creativity and our maybe ability to try to solve our own problems and to take the step and try to come up with solutions so with that for until last week uh, so for seven seven weeks in barcelona there was the main square plaza catalonia was occupied there was assemblies of ultra consensus decision making of up to maybe three four thousand people making decisions about what steps we need to do where we go from here um people living in the square commissions all sub commissions about different aspects of uh, of life, uh, both immediate stuff with the square, actions where we're going with this movement, technology, communication, international communication, communicating to the rest of the world, set up a, a permaculture garden in the square to talk about uh, peak oil, to talk about food sovereignty, to talk about organic issues, uh, food production issues. Um, so that's where it went. About three, four weeks ago, it went from being Plaza Catalunya to actually going, take it back take it back to the local neighbourhood. So now people are meeting. In my barrio, my neighbourhood, we meet once a week on, in the in the Pueblo Now, and people come together and talking about different issues. So there's little sub-commissions looking at uh, community economics, looking at uh, identifying spaces that could be food production zones in our neighbourhood. Uh, basically, in terms of what it means to transition, it's like, without sort of it being a transition project, it's basically... it. It's an, it is a transition project because all these things we're talking about in transition have just erupted there and people are doing, analysing, connecting. Uh, it's on all the levels and it's one of these magical little moments that, that has just opened and erupted. And it has been quite chaotic. In Barcelona, on the 27th, so 12 days after the first Sunday, uh, the police came to clean the square, which uh, ended up in being a full-on police action of, of uh, just massive violence from the police. This has been always a peaceful revolution. It's been called the Spanish Revolution. So different people have different interpretations of what a revolution is or blah, blah, blah. But anyway, it's called and tagged whatever Spanish Revolution. They came in to clean the square. A lot of people were injured. There was rubber bullets used. There was a lot of uh, beating. Uh, 150 people have been injured. That day there was four people severely injured. We've seen photos of people in wheelchairs being hit by the police. What was the response? The people became even stronger. That night, 10,000 people were in the square and all the streets around that, talking in pure seriousness about what we are doing and what needs to be done to get ourselves out of the mess. Um, it sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. Been. Absolutely sort of breaking news, really, in a way, from, yeah. from Barcelona. But yeah. um, using... And it's not only confined to a Spanish thing. It's popping off other, other places, no? Greece, you know, well, Greece has a lot of different things going on. Other places, no, Ireland, little by little people on the streets. Even here, we heard that people in Liverpool are actually being on the streets. No, in London as well, they're occupying the space outside the, the Spanish embassy. So, you know, we're all in this together. We, we have the creativity, we have the solutions. It's time for us to come together and to start making it. And I think for me, transition is totally about that process. We're getting there. Thank you very much, Duncan. Thank you.